Prime Minister Ali and Prime Minister Dr. Rawley are actively working together, bringing their countries together to build connectivity by creating a platform to which Trinidad and Guyana can integrate their works and efforts. In a recent interview, Ali said that many investments from Trinidad and Tobago are occurring in Guyana from the private sector and from individuals. So, if you're from the CARICOM and you want to invest, Guyana is not a bad place to look. Since January, it has been reported that the Trinidad and Tobago cabinet has approved the use of the country's Galleons Passage vessel to operate the regional ferry service. On 5 January, the Guyanese leader disclosed that Guyana, TNT, and Barbados had formed a joint company that would work towards the introduction of a ferry system for passengers and cargoes between the three countries. And this is supposed to be the first phase. Last month, the Curry Cargo Incorporated, the company that will operate the ferry, was officially incorporated in Guyana. The vessel is expected to play a pivotal role in the transporting of not only CARICOM nationals, but also goods, particularly agricultural produce. Regional leaders have recognized that affordable intra-regional travel is significant to trade and movement of skilled labor within the Caribbean. We have to remember what the CARICOM was about. Show the CARICOM was to build greater integration in the region. But the one major event that shaped the Caribbean that many people try to run away from, and we cannot allow ourselves to forget that. Other people take the simplest event and use that to push them over mountains, to propel them into space. I always talk about the Jews and their Holocaust and how they use that to bind them and to keep them strong. I was checking out some documentary the other day and you can see where the Jews ensure that they teach every single children. They pound it in their head from a young age, their history, the Holocaust. They have cartoons about it and no one shame them for doing that. No one tell them to get over it. It's so long ago because they realize how that can inspire and motivate the youth. They realize that that Holocaust is a wonderful tool to ensure that their people are united. So if our history got more nations rich, why would they tell us to forget about it? Why would we not teach our youths about it in the school if we care about the youths? If we know it's going to help them to respect each other, why aren't we using it? 